What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now one of the good things about riding is knowing your wheel. And today what I'm going to help you do is set up what is called Wheel Log. It's probably one of the best um, EUC apps out there for controlling your wheel and knowing what it's about, what's going on with the wheel at any given time. So let's get to it. Set up the Wheel Log. First things first, launch the EUC World app. Link is in the description. Welcome on board. All right, when you first log in, or launch the app rather, you'll receive this alert, welcome on board, and um, you'll receive some beeps. That's because it's not connected. So now what you wanna do is turn on your device. I have it connected already, but in your case, if it's not connected, you'll have to connect it. Okay, so now in front of you, you have all the pertinent data that you will need. Top speed, average, current, voltage, average speed, journey time, etc. And the battery and the temperature outside. So what you want to do now is, a lot of people get confused and they wonder, where is the menu? What you want to do is take your finger and swipe across from the left of your screen. Okay, like that. See? All right. Now, you will see general, gauge settings, log settings, alarm settings, tour tracking settings, voice settings, watch settings, flick settings, wheel settings, sign in, and sign up. If you intend on tracking your distance, your trips, your speed, etc., etc., all of this can be logged in for you via the EUC World website. But for now, we're just going to focus on the settings. So my settings are as follows. For now, I will have to put the screen in landscape. Right. So I'm in landscape mode. Swipe from the left. And if I click on alarm settings, well first let's go to general settings. So general settings, you'll see I have show when locked. Okay, so that means when you lock your screen, if this is the last app you have running, when you lock your screen, you'll be able to see the uh, pertinent data about the wheel, like miles per hour, um, average riding speed, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, while the screen is locked. Then I have speed and distance in miles. Okay, so not in kilometers, in miles. If you're out of the United States. <clears throat> then you can transition to, you can deselect this and it will show it in kilometers. Then I have realistic battery level. Show more realistic battery level with additional safety margins. So I have that selected as well. For wheel speed correction, I have 0%. Wheel distance correction, 0%. Okay, now here you can reset top speed, etc., etc. That means if you lift your wheel, and the wheel ends up spinning out of control, it'll give you a registered top speed. But that's not your real riding top speed, right? So you just hit this button here to reset the top speed. Also, if you're just coming from a ride and you hit a certain top speed, but you want it reset for the next ride, then you hit reset top speed. Same thing with reset user distance. You might not want to do that, reset the user distance, because I believe that is the distance of your wheel from the time you started riding. I reset it this once by mistake on my Tesla and I wasn't able to get my original distance. So don't do that one. All right, this is general settings. Now to gauge settings. On gauge settings, max speed. This is the maximum speed shown on the outer dial. The outer dial, let me just swipe left for a second, is this right here, what's in the center. Okay, the 100% battery on the left with the green 22%, I'm sorry, 22 degrees Celsius. So that's the center dial. And back to gauge settings. And it says the maximum speed shown on the outer dial is 25 miles per hour. Hmm. You know what? I don't actually know what that means, to be honest. I really don't. Hmm. Anyway, it's at 25 miles per hour. Single tap action, double tap action, tap and hold action, horn mode. I don't use these things, but this is the default settings um, that was given to me when, when I downloaded the app. Log settings, I know nothing about this. 
you can finagle with this on your own alarm settings this is where we pretty much set up um, the speeds um, the alarm settings the priorities etc so for example here in the alarm settings enable alarms allow the phone to vibrate as a warning or enable voice alarms yes so I select that that means when basically all your alarms are on right so if you're using Bluetooth for example all that data will be sent through your Bluetooth okay in my case I use earbuds so when I'm writing all that data is sent through my earbuds so I don't have to rely on the beeps disable phone vibration I have that deselected because I want the phone to vibrate unfortunately my phone it's an Android and for some reason Androids don't vibrate well in my experience at least I've had two three Android phones these phones don't vibrate as hard and rough as or they don't have enough feedback with their vibration as an iPhone for example um, over voltage alarm that's not a bad idea enable the alarm when battery voltage goes above safe limit actually I'll just go ahead and check that right now that's not a bad thing to have on with lithium-ion batteries you do not want to overvolt them they become pretty much unusable once you overvolt them so now we're at speed alarm highest priority you have highest priority medium priority lowest priority all right on the highest priority I have 39 miles per hour I know my wheel is able to do 40 miles an hour but I have it set to 39 so that at least I have one mile per hour buffer before I hit that 40 mile per hour mark okay this is good because if you make a mistake and push too hard um, you know the alarm will kick, uh, kick in one mile per hour before and you'll know to slow down and if you don't slow down then at least you have that one mile per hour buffer obviously you could do 38 as well battery percentage now I enabled the battery percentage at 100% I'm not sure why but last time I tried it at a lower percentage it didn't work so I have it always at 100% um, you can finagle with yours figure out why to do this why this works or it doesn't work the speed alarm in medium priority I have a, the highest 62 miles per hour why because I don't really have a medium priority priority I don't really care about the medium priority and I don't really care about the lowest priority so I max them out since I really don't care about them you could change this based on your needs but I really don't have a need for it my highest priority speed is 39 miles per hour so there you have it um, the battery percentage again 100% the current alarm some people care about the current now one of my buddies um, his name is panda he pretty much helped me set this up but he likes to do the peak um, current because in many cases if you're going through bumps and what happens is you, let's say I'm going at 39 miles per hour which is a dangerous speed right if you're unskilled even if you're skilled 39 per 39 miles per hour is pretty much let's say you're going at 39 miles per hour and you hit a bump or dip in the road or some significant pothole at 39 miles per hour nothing's going to happen but if you're over leaning at 39 miles per hour or 38 miles per hour the current draw is going to be pretty significant because what's going to happen is the wheel is going to literally force itself to try to stay up by drawing more current out of the battery but your miles per hour your 38 39 miles per hour is already drawing a ton of current so what happens is in many cases you'll get a cutoff and you'll think it's because you're over leaning well it, it is because you're over leaning but it's because you place the wheel in such a situation where it has to literally overwork itself to try to keep balance in that pothole so whenever a wheel goes through a pothole for example it's literally drawing more current to keep upright in addition to that you're over leaning to get that max speed so that's not an ideal situation for the wheel you're literally wearing it thin I have that at zero because I haven't had these situations whenever I see bumps I don't ever lean anyway but I've hit many bumps in Boston many potholes many all, all kinds of things and 
nothing's ever happened to me. It had happened to my uh, my buddy uh, Panda several times, and this is why he likes that um, setting. So what you can do, for example, in his situation, he's been through several bumps, and he had pretty much the current meter running, and he would check to see at what level um, the wheel was drawing current, like how much current the wheel was drawing at that time of the cutoff in the bump while over leaning. It might be 150, it might be 120, whatever. And he would set it to that, the amps. Now in wheel settings, we have light mode, alarm mode. Let's click on alarm mode. I have turn off level one alarm, okay? Now to disable all alarms, you will have to initially do that in the Gotway app. I don't believe that you're able to disable the alarms using the Weed Log app. You can click it, but I don't think, initially you will have to do it on the Gotway app. Um, but right after that, don't use the, app, the Gotway app, it's not that reliable. Okay, my pedal is medium because I like the buffer mode, I'll explain that in another video, the difference between hard, medium, and soft. And wheel speed limit is zero. That's it, guys. There's nothing else. Okay, so now that I've shown you all of my settings, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate how the wheel alerts you of the speed. So I will head to wheel settings. And actually, you know what? I will head to alarm settings. Alarm settings, and I will bring this down to, let's say, not 39, but let's say 25 miles per hour. So 25 miles per hour, I will lift the wheel and I will allow it to spin up to 25, 26 miles per hour so that you're able to hear the alert, okay? Speed three miles per hour. Top speed, slow down. See that? So whenever it reaches 25 miles per hour, it alerts. Exactly. Slow down. And this is what you'll be hearing in your Bluetooth headset or whatever you decide. Some wheels have speakers on the outside. Um, if you're that type of person that listens to music while riding, then clearly you don't have an earbud. So this would be perfect for you. Blast the music or the volume to 100% or 80% or whatever, and you'll be hearing this. So I have mine, I have mine set to um, 39 miles per hour. Let's see. Uh, alarm settings and go down right here and back to 39. And that is sufficient for me. So now when I go to 39 miles per hour. Speed three miles per hour. Top speed. Slow down. All right, so there you have it. Obviously you heard the wheel uh, alarm as well, which is fine. I like having the wheel alarm as a backup. Not that I listen to it, but I do like having it as a backup. So it says 41 miles per hour. That's because it was free spinning with no load. But with load, I weigh 180 pounds. There's no way I'd be able to do 41 miles per hour. But I can definitely do 39 to 40 miles per hour safely.